हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू डाउनलोड मल्टीपल इमेजेस फ्रॉम द यूआरएल यूजिंग एजैक्स यू कैन सी इफ आई लोड द पेज हियर दिस ऑटोमेटिकली थ्री इमेजेस आर डाउनलोडेड हियर यू विल सी दिस इज वन इमेज व्हिच इज डाउनलोडेड दिस इज बेसिकली द सेकंड इमेज लेट मी ओपन दिस दिस इज बेसिकली द सेकंड इमेज देन दिस इज द थर्ड इमेज you will see that so these three images are downloaded from the internet using ajax asynchronous javascript and xml so basically we are written this javascript program which makes request to the url that we stored right here inside this array three images are there and we are downloading one by one and we will be looking at how to do this process step by step so i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website uh, webninjadeveloper.com in the description of this video so you can go to that blog post basically this is basically the description blog post step by step instruction is given so all the source code is given so now let's get started so the very first thing we will do is that we will first of all write the basic javascript code required for this process we will declare a urls array inside that array we will be storing all the images which we will be downloading it from the internet so just go to a website called as unsplash and right here just copy image address this let me take this image for example in double quotes just paste the address the second image let me take this image for example copy image address so we take this image paste it and we take the third image which let's suppose i take this image copy image address and simply paste it so now we have three images out there one by one we will use a simple for loop and we will make a simple ajax xml http request we will use this for loop here guys and we will simply say where i is equal to 0 and i less than and the urls dot length and i plus plus so inside this loop guys basically we will get access to the url to the current url we will use this uh, urls square bracket i so this will get access to the current url and then we will simply make a simple ajax xml http request so which is built in inside the browser so right here we will open this method xhr open method and we will open a simple get request to this url we will pass and the third parameter is asynchronous we will pass this boolean parameter to be true and here we just need to set the response type so here the response type will be set to array buffer we will convert this download this image as an array buffer and then basically it listens for it, this event out there it has various events out there on about on error on load on load and we will listen for this event which is on load and basically this will be a simple arrow function callback function and here we will compare inside this if condition if the this dot status if this is equal to 200 because 200 it's the status code for success code so if this request is successful then the status property will be equal to 200 so in that case we just need to construct a blob object we will simply construct a blob object using this blob constructor and here we will pass this dot response whatever response we will be getting here and in the second parameter we just need to pass the mem type so every file has a associative mem type attached to it so here we will be providing the type parameter for this image to be image slash jpg this can even be png as well if you are downloading it as a png image now we just need to construct the link so we will be constructing the link using a document dot create element we will creating a dynamic element uh, anchor element a and here we will be uh, manipulating the href property of the link link dot href and here we we will be using the window dot url dot create object url so we will be using this method in order to create a new blob url which is unique there inside the browser we will simply pass the blob data like this and then we will manipulate the download property here we will give the file name to the image file so we will you can just give it as output.jpg like this this will be the input file name which will get downloaded and now we simply need to click this automatically we will simply call the click method so this will automatically click the image file 
to download this automatically so after this we just need to send this request so you will simply say xhr send so this will send this request automatically so this is inside this for loop only so you can see we are sending this request here we have defined what happens when it onloads this request so inside this request we uh, download this image so now if i just uh, load this application in the browser you will see that if i go to the console here okay sorry i think i have misspelled misspelled the array buffer so just change the spelling to array buffer and now if i open this uh let me see what is basically the error here let me copy this code once again sometimes there may be some errors which will take place let me see here paste this code once again just copy and paste it here so if you see basically you will see three images will be downloaded this is basically the first image this is the second image this is the third image you can just change the urls accordingly inside this urls you can change these urls to be anything so in this way you can use ajax to download multiple urls from the url in javascript all the source code is given in the description of this video